Well, hi there, pluckers. I've saw fingers again with you with my lesson on the Styx number boat on the river, which I did a preview for yesterday. First the lesson for some time, and uh, before I start, I'd just like to thank uh, the, all you lovely people out there for uh, sending in kind comments, uh, wishing me the best for my move and all that sort of thing. Unfortunately, it did take a lot longer than I'd hoped for. Um, the whole thing was rather prolonged and protracted and um, when we did actually move into the new house there were quite a few little issues we had to sort out so um, anyway we've got over it all now hopefully we're almost back to normality so we're back with the lessons again okay so um, let's get to it so this song right so standard tuning capo on the fifth fret okay the introduction uh, it's basically some chords for you to strum. It starts on a D minor, basic D minor chord. What I like to do with it is when you first initially start strumming is to hammer into that top E string on the first fret. Like that, before you start strumming, yeah? So it's... Okay, that sort of thing. Then the second chord is a D sus4 Keeping the D minor shape, well I do anyway, <laughs> I just add my pinky to the uh, top E string, third fret from the capo. And again, sort of hammer it in. Like that, so you've, now you've got this. And then the third chord is back to the D minor again. Again, open up that first finger, hammer it back in. Okay, so now you've got this. And then the final chord is a D sus2, which you do by removing the first finger altogether, leaving the other two fingers where they are, second on the third and the third on the second there, open top E string. And then you just repeat the whole thing. Okay, so you do it twice, the whole, the whole sequence. And then just two bars of D minor. Then the verse kicks in, okay? And the verse is quite straightforward, it starts on stays on the D minor. Take me back to my boat on the river. I need is C. Need to go down by A7. Need to go down. Okay, so that's D to C to A7. That's an A chord with an open third string. Second on the fourth, second on the second, five downwards, and then back to the D minor. So you've got after the intro. Right, here we go, verse. Take me back to the river. I need to go down. I need to come down. Back to D minor for the second part of the verse. C. Uh, I won't cry out any D minor more. So the second half of the verse is just D minor, C, back to D minor. So the whole verse. bars of D minor and you just go repeat the whole thing with different words okay time stand still gaze in the water eases me down searching me gently
at the end that last line if you want to you could put a quick A7 in there where it goes I don't cry, sorry I don't cry, Whichever you like the sound of best, okay? You could just go to the C and back to the D minor, or you could put an A7 in quickly. So it goes. Take me back to so whichever you like the sound of best, okay? I think it's actually the A7 personally, but you don't have to if you don't need to. If you don't uh, prefer the C, just do the C, okay? So there we have it. So that's the first two verses, and then it goes into the uh, what you could call the bridge section or the chorus section, where it goes. I don't cry out So let's do that bit. So after you come out of the verse, so don't cry out anymore. Right, here we go. Oh, the C, river is wide. A7, river is touching. My D minor, light like the waves on the G sound. And all, all roads is a G minor. Okay, so I'm playing it as a bar chord, third fret from the capo, bar, and then the fifth fret on the fifth string and fourth string with third finger and pinky. Like that. Or you could play a simple G minor, barring the first three strings, third fret from the capo, and then the third finger and pinky playing the fifth fret of the fifth string and the fourth string, five downwards. Whichever is easier for yourself, okay? So, so far on this middle bit. Oh, the river is wide. The river, it touches my life like the waves on the road. And all those lead to back to D minor, to pretty bass, where the it's E7. That's an E, basic E chord with the third finger lifted off, second on the fifth. First on the third, all six strings. So that's just where the frown on my face disappears. A7. Nice single, just a basic single strum on the A7. Like that, five downwards. Right, so that's the whole thing again, middle section. Oh, the river is wide, the river it touches my mind. pause and then we do this right so all you do is after that pause on the A7 do a pause and then add your first finger to the top E string first fret five downwards again single strum take the first finger off and play A7 again so that's to D minor and uh, the uh, sort of hook line really. Okay, so that's take me down to Just finishes with that line, okay, that middle section. D minor, take me down to my power C. A7, D minor. Okay, so to, that's basically the whole song really, apart from the um, solo of course. It basically just repeats more of the same after that. So all the way from the beginning, right to the end of the first um, middle section, bridge section, chorus, call it what you like, and then the solo kicks in, okay. So right from the beginning, Take me back to the old 
Okay, so that's the basic song, okay? Then what happens is there's a, there's a mandolin solo, okay? Which is played basically D minor, C and A7. So. It's really like the verse. The rhythm to it, okay. Then we go into the middle section again, or the bridge section, chorus, what you like. It goes, the river is deep, river it touches Then we go into the outro. Again, the last line. This time, A7. Okay, so our ending is basically just the first verse again. Take me down to the A7. Last line, and I'm a C D minor, this time A7. And a quick D minor for a good for like three or four bars, and then an A7, and then D minor. And that's how it finishes, okay? So uh, that's it for now. I'll come back and uh, for in the third lesson and show you those people who want to play the my version of the uh, mandolin solo okay in part uh, three if you like <laughs> you've got the preview part one which is this one and part three which is the solo mandolin bit okay thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed that and uh, see you in part three